Hello everyone and welcome to Food Review UK, my name is MJ and today we are reviewing the Morrison's Yorkshire Pudding Pizza. It's my birthday so I'm wearing a t-shirt and a dressing gown, deal with it really, deal with it and also wish me a happy birthday. Now, let's have a look at it. Okay guys, it's out of the oven and it looks like that. It looks alright, pretty well cooked, a bit brown around there maybe but that's my fault for overcooking it slightly isn't it? Although I did it under what it said, but yeah. That looks nice. Smells alright. Hmm. I got into it by cutting into it. You just obviously got to be careful because it could be sharp bits, but yeah. Right, let's uh, see the underside. Yeah, it looks okay. It doesn't look too bad. It's not too soggy. A bit soft, but it is a Yorkshire pudding. Here we go. Jesus Christ, guys. It is absolutely filled with tomato sauce. That is way too much tomato sauce. It's just all completely fallen out um, that's so so much what are they thinking it doesn't need anywhere near that much sauce all right let's go and, go and give it a review okay so this is it in sort of different camera mode as I said in there way too much sauce like the the sauce saturation is is absolutely ridiculous um, <laughs> I'm sort of flabbergasted. I don't know. I don't know if I've got a dodgy one. It was, if it should have this much sauce in, that's just mental. But um, I'll give it as, as good a review as I can. This seems like not a bad piece, to be fair. I mean, it's it's a literally made up of a Yorkshire pudding, so it's always going to be sloppy and soft in the middle. And I, like I said in there again, I'm a little bit sceptical. Pizza is on bread for a reason, and it's it's because it works. Yorkshire puddings are great. But they're great in the right vehicle. I'm not sure if a Yorkshire pudding pizza is... I just don't get it. I think it's one of those internet like memes. Like internet craze items. Just like, oh, uh, pretzel burger or something. Like, what are you doing? Not Sorry, that does actually exist and that's actually nice because they've adapted the pretzel. They've not just put a burger in a pretzel. They've actually made a salty sourdough bun. So that works. Uh, but this is literally just pizza on a Yorkshire pudding. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's give it a taste and see if it actually tastes nice. Here we go. Three pounds from Morrison's. Mm. Mm. It's about as bad as I thought it was going to be. So at least I'm not disappointed. Pepperoni's really nice. Saving grace. And it has certainly got a bit of crunch. A bit of crunch. The texture of the Yorkshire pudding is nice on the outside, nice and crispy. But the rest of it is just chewy and soggy. That's not really a bad... I'm not saying that that is bad. But it mixes in way too much with the cheese. Normally the cheese on a pizza you get a nice bit of stringiness and you can sort of tell it's there, obviously. With this, the cheese sort of melds in with all those other textures and it's just less identifiable. I mean, literally, look at that for a slice. What is that? just that's not appetizing at all is it well the tomato sauce is it's fine quite heavy on the garlic i think i'd probably say it's lesser a tomato sauce for pizza like a tomato pizza sauce marinara type thing and more of like a pastry sauce like i said the pepperoni is pretty good nice and thickly cut with the little it's got two two types of pepperoni on it small pieces like this which are slightly thicker cuts they give a nice chew Great burst of saltiness and a really good flavour. And when you've got bigger pieces like this, and they add a crisp and a charriness. And actually, the pepperoni is really, really nice. Like, that is good pepperoni. But the texture just doesn't work for me. Like I say, you, a few bites in, it's all too soft, it's all too mushy. And the absolute nail in the coffin is the amount of sauce. Again, just hold that up. I don't know what on earth they're thinking. I, it's, that just can't be normal. There's so much sauce in there, it's it's ridiculous. It's complete and utter overkill. Yeah. It's a shame because if that had like a quarter of the amount of the sauce, that would probably be totally edible and pretty nice, and I'd probably give it like a high three. Maybe if it had a load of load more pepperoni in there and the base the bottom were crispier, maybe a low four, something like that, but just hasn't worked there's way too much sauce and it's too soft and chewy and there's not much texture to it 
in the centre, in the swimming pool of it. For me, it's a two star. And I just got a bubble in my throat as I said that. So um, I think we'll be picking off the, the crust and the cheese and the pepperoni, won't we, Claire? Not even paying attention, ladies and gents. Look at that, she's just sitting there, buggering around. I'm she, waiting, she was like I'm this. waiting for cake, I am. She was like this on her phone. Ah? Ridiculous. Anyway, you guys asked for it. Have you had this from Morrison's? Like I said, it's one of those big, meme internet-y sort of foods, so I'm sure a lot of you have tried it. Was yours as heavily sourced as mine? That's the, that's the question. So thank you very much for watching everyone. Check out Food Review UK on other mediums like Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more videos if you're new. Stop watching immediately! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you still here? He said immediately!